Hey there YouTube, I want to tell you about another YouTube channel that I found last year in the 2017 hunting season. Of course when hunting season rolls around I start to get all excited and I, I spent a lot of time last year watching a bunch of YouTube videos of other people shooting big bucks and getting really excited and I came across Sean's Outdoor Adventures and the thing I really like about Sean's Outdoor Adventures is that he's authentic. You see a lot of these hunting shows that we're all familiar with, they're hunting their big managed pieces of property over these big food plots and these highly managed deer herds and what's happening is they're out there and they're trying to decide which of these monster bucks they're going to shoot this year. And most of us really can't relate to that. We wish we could relate to that. We wish we had these monster bucks, but the reality is we don't have bucks like that where most of us hunt. And so Sean is relatable. He's hunting public land in mostly Pennsylvania, but Maryland and New York. And he's being successful hunting public land, and he's just a real down-to-earth person. So I'd encourage you to check out his channel with the link in the description below. One of the things that Sean's been doing over the last couple of years is hosting a, what he calls the Map Reading Challenge. And it is a competition where you go into an area that he assigns, and there's a group of you, maybe a team or several teams, and you you look at the maps, you look at the aerial images, and you try to determine, you've got one day to scout it, and you try to determine what part of that ground that you have do you want to go scout today. You scout it one day, you come back uh, later on in the year when it's hunting season, and you, you hunt that land for two and a half days, basically a weekend, maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or something along those lines. Um, it's a way to test your skills, about your scouting skills, about your hunting skills. Can you get it done in a short period of time? Uh, it looks like a really fun time. Last year, I think you had 12 participants in that, that map reading challenge. It was a fun thing. So this year, I decided I was going to be a, a, a apply to be on the challenge. And so uh, part of that application process is to submit an application video. And without further ado, here is my application video for the 2018 map reading challenge. Hello, my name is Nathan Fry. I'm 30 years old and I live in Ramey, Pennsylvania, a small town in the southeast corner of Clearfield County. I've been married to my wife, Hannah, for almost three years and we're expecting our first child, a little baby girl, due at the end of April. As a profession, I produce videos for churches, ministries, and other Christian organizations with a focus and emphasis on overseas missionaries. Probably the number one reason why I want to be included in this year's Map Reading Challenge is to learn. Even though I've been hunting since I was 12 and I've had some successes along the way, I realize that I still have much to learn. I'm thankful that over the last few years I've been learning and that my success rate has increased, but I still would love to see myself be able to have more skills and be able to year after year consistently harvest a buck, especially during the archery season. As a side note, one of my favorite parts of harvesting a buck is the time that I get to spend reliving the memory after the hunt. And one of the, my favorite ways to do that is to mount the antlers on a plaque. Probably one of my favorite mounts was this one that I did for my first ever archery buck that I did in the shape of an arrowhead and was able to also include a picture in the mount. So this is one of my favorite parts of being able to harvest a buck and to be able to keep those memories not only while I'm working on the antlers, but also as they can hang on the wall in my office. The second reason why I would love to be included in the Map Reading Challenge is to challenge myself to capture a hunt on film. I'm a videographer, so I have all the equipment, but I've never just been able to capture a hunt on film. The closest I came was just a few weeks ago in the late flintlock season when I had a doe perfectly in frame, but the flintlock failed to go off. I'm excited to make 2018 the year that I capture my first hunt on film.
The third and final reason why I would love to be included in the map reading challenge is just to have fun. I love to hunt and I would also love to meet other guys who enjoy spending time in the great outdoors that God has created. I hope that you'll consider me for the 2018 map reading challenge.